I'm here walking in front of our next purchase. The Crone Big X, 630. Okay, now realistically, this is not our next purchase. Nowhere even on the radar. It's not even in the same uh, the same zone because we will never, I can tell you this, we will never own a self-propelled chopper. But they're fun to look at. I mean, I've never been around them when they ran, but um, seen plenty of videos on them and they seem to like to do a lot of work in a short amount of time. I've never seen a pickup with the teeth oriented like this before though. I, like a lot of people, have probably just seen them where they're straight across the, the head. So that's actually kind of different. I know I can't get into the cab, so I'm not even going to waste my time. No, we're actually over here at uh, Crow in America in Platteville. We had to go and get some supplies for the farm, and unfortunately, Menards is the only place we really got to get them. We got a Crone Big Pack 890 right here. Uh, I don't know much of anything about big balers. Um, actually, about the most I know about big square balers is from watching One Only Farmers channel. So we, uh, for raising bottle calves, well, you see it's definitely a smaller shoot than Wes's. But um, for me raising bottle calves like I have been, I tried doing big uh, rounds with fodder. That's just a pain in the ass. Um, the fodder really didn't make that good a bedding in the barn. So we're actually thinking about, or what I'm planning on doing is, um, oh hell, small thousand shaft. I don't know what Wes's baler has on. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. I think that's a large thousand. This thing's seen a lot of use. A lot of rust. Whoever uh, sent it in, or I mean, if it's just the shop guys here, they did a good job of cleaning it up. Not seeing any of the previous uh, crop on it anywhere. But. You see, I don't know enough about big square balers to really be intelligent about talking about it. But uh, what we're looking at doing is I'm probably going to buy in a bunch of small, either wheat straw or oat straw, square bales, I mean little bales, and trying those out because I know they'll work, but the big round bale fodder bale is just a pain in the ass. Um, a bale, a big round bale, when I had 70 calves in the barn, lasted me about two days. That's why we put two bales in. And... It's a lot of work with very little return because 12 hours later the calves need to be bedded again. Because that fodder, early on it, it looked like it would work all right, but for what, the, for what I'm doing in the barn there, I need, I need straw. Corn fodder just doesn't work. Okay, this is something I know we'll probably never see. Uh, maybe see it on a demo, maybe. This I've never been around these, I've seen them. Oh, the guys over in Europe have them. But uh, we really don't have a hell of a lot of use for them. I mean, I guess they do a really nice job picking the crop up. But we'd actually, we have uh, just the wheel rakes. That's actually built a little heavier than my dad's gale. I mean, my dad's gale is pretty little shop that's got over a decade worth of work on it. It might be interesting to see how one of these things would work. But I tell you what, if you uh, swing too wide and hit a fence, fence post or something, that's going to ruin your day. Of course, it looks to me like those arms are almost made to be swapped out. So maybe they already had that in mind. Wheel rake. Oh, what is this? A uh, 14 wheel? Four, uh, Eight wheel, so it's what, a 16 wheel rake? I don't know how wide that'd be. It's got the adjustable back end, but it's a Frontier. Not really too big on Frontier rakes because, from what I've seen of Frontier equipment, they're really not that heavy. I mean, this actually has 
actually. Here's the rear pin for holding this arm on. And I can't see there. So I don't know if the other side is if this is standard or if this has already been fixed once, but you can see it's got a crack on it. Somebody's been fighting that. That's a problem with wheel rakes. They take a lot of abuse and they just don't last very long. So they got a tether over there. I was told those tethers don't really last that long either just because they there's not much to them and they get beat up really quick. Here's something I can actually see us getting someday. I actually do. That's a New Holland pull type chopper. More along the lines of what we had. We had a John Deere uh, 3950. I didn't like it. It was built too light and it was a nightmare uh, working with the knives on it. This one uh, looks like it's seen a little bit uh, a bit more work than I'd like to see on something I'm going to buy. But John Deere, some people, either you like them or you don't, but John Deere actually has the uh, it's a 36 blade cutter bar on it. So there's 36 individual blades all around the cutter bar. And we always fought that. You hit a rock and the salesman told us, well, that's great because you hit a rock and you'll be back in the field. Well, I don't know what kind of rocks he's dealing with. But the rocks we hit, it didn't matter if it just hit one knife because we were usually down for the rest of the day anyway. Never really seemed to get ahead of the rock. But whoever had it, looks like they didn't have any collisions with the chopper boxes at all. Hitch is a little bit of wear to it. I don't know what the hell they hit back here, but did a nice job of it. But yes, uh, people are asking us if we're going to be chopping anytime soon. Um, I can't say that we're going to be chopping anytime soon, but we will be chopping again someday. Um, we actually have to go and pretty much tear out and just redo all of our feeding facilities. Uh, it's actually still up in the air if we're going to be doing feed bunks yet or if we'll just... Uh, unload out of the silos right into the uh into a feeder wagon or a tmr or uh if even if we'll keep uh, fucking with uh silos maybe we'll just go back to just doing bags that's going to be a few years down the road yet all right that's enough of this this is uh yeah again platteville crone america this place hasn't been for very long uh, hasn't been in platteville for very long but uh, business must be pretty good. See, they got a Mac Don disc bind over there. From what I've seen of Mac Don uh, cutters or hay binds, disc binds, I was actually kind of impressed by what they actually, how they were built. Um, I could see us if we didn't get a John Deere disc bind again. I could see us looking at a Mac Don. All right, uh, eight minutes in, it's time to go. So I'm going back to the farm. So take it easy, guys. Talk to you later.